We are going to give these a coastal makeover. This is using um, the Maiden metallic fluid acrylics that I've been sort of messing around with a little bit. I've not tried using these straight out of the bottle. I've been mixing them with Floetrol and um, water, and I just think they're a little bit too thin to do that way on these. So I want to use the blue, the cerulean blue metallic silver. I've not used the black yet. I just don't, I, just, I gotta think on the black. Um, I have used the wine red. I don't know if I'm gonna use that on these. Um, the metallic white I'm gonna use. And then the metallic gold I'm gonna use, okay? I'm gonna layer them in the cup and um, I'm gonna do some different things on these pumpkins. There might not be that much left. I've used a lot of this blue. Let me just do this. And then I'll layer with some silver. Some gold. I think these are going to be too thick. So, and there's there's just barely enough in this bottle. I can go ahead and thin that out. These four, I have thinned just with water in the bottle. There's enough room left in the bottle where I could just thin it out with water, and I think that's what what I should have done to begin with. Because look how thin, I mean, look how thick that is. Now it'll hold its shape, but it's just too thick to do a ring pour. And then I have titanium white that I've mixed up in, in this squirt bottle. And it's by Saks. I bought this on Amazon. It was a great deal on Amazon Prime Days. I think it was like $14 for a half gallon of titanium white. And it is just a really, really good base paint. It's highly pigmented, so I was able to mix one part of the paint to four parts Floetrol and a little bit of water in the squirt bottle. So um, I'll have links to the Maiden paints from Amazon and then also the um, this white. Go ahead and layer in the cup. Uh, just continue layering. So I've already got the blue and the silver. Uh, let's get a little bit of gold in here. I think the gold is probably going to be fine. Probably need to mix that up a little bit. Get some more white. Yeah, I think that's going to be fine. Get more blue. Okay. Okay, got my gloves. And so the easiest way, honestly, is just to squirt some on there. And what this does, it just kind of helps the flow of the paint over whatever it is you're painting. You don't have to get a whole lot. Like, it doesn't need to be a pillow. It just needs to just kind of grease the way for the other paint, right? Because otherwise, it's just going to, I don't know, it's just not going to flow very smoothly. These are really soaking in. I probably should seal these first. Already getting some little cells in there. Okay. 
don't know how well this is going to do, but we're going to try it. Hmm. Oh, a little bit. Get some of that paint on the sides there. Oh, that was good. That worked really well. Yeah, that worked really well. What we can get. Making sure the pumpkin is all the way covered. That is wicked. Look at that. That is wicked. That, I love it. Love, 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 love. All right. I need to move this one over here. Look at all this paint that I'm, I mean, it's not wasted. I'm going to do a drip painting, but look at that. I need to figure something out. Hold on. Hold that thought. it up. And I'm really hoping that I catch the paint on this jar lid. That would be amazing. So I'm just going to try it. All right. I'm not wasting that paint. I did not realize how mesmerizing this process would be and even the drips on my nail board are gorgeous and that's why I wanted to try and save them somehow on this jar lid. And I considered this kind of a two for one project so I'm making something out of the drips. I'm glad that I'm able to manip manipulate the color just enough on the pumpkin to catch it on this jar lid. And then with the jar lid, I'm able to manipulate the paint so that I get it across the whole top of the jar lid. But I, I feel almost like I over stretched it a little bit too much. I wish I had stopped. I did get a second one. And I probably, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put some white on here as well and I think I'm gonna have better luck with this one honestly the shape of this pumpkin is a little bit different so I think I'm gonna get a little bit different result but the method it itself is the same and there's really I don't know if you can call this a ring pour or what you would want to call this but 
it's not really a ring pour. I'm just, I'm trying to get the paint onto the, the different raised edges of the pumpkin. It's a little bit difficult because the paint is wanting to kind of pull in the middle and it's also wanting to pull down into those um, where the cracks are in the pumpkin. So I feel a little bit like I'm using a whole lot of paint to, to get the result that I want, but oh my gosh, is it so worth it. I decided to leave the jar lid just like it is and not pick it up and stretch the paint. I kind of want that really ribbony abstract look. I'm gonna leave it just like it is to dry, just like it is. I think it's gonna be brilliant. Look at that, oh my goodness, this is so pretty. So pretty, it's so pretty, it's so pretty. Oh my God, it's so pretty. Once these were dry, I wanted to coat, it, coat them with resin to, get, to bring the shine back. And I'm using a new epoxy resin called Bond Crafter. Um, the company sent me some to try, so I'm trying it with different projects. And it's designed for deeper pores like molds. So I did add a lot to these jar lids, a lot more than um, probably you would normally on, um, you know, something like a skim coat. Now the layer on the pumpkins is a little bit thinner. It's more like a skim coat, but I had zero issues whatsoever on any of the pumpkins or the jar lids with, um, with fish eyes or coverage. I'm really, really happy with this new resin. It's, it's already at a very, very good price on Amazon. But right now, this resin is 30% off and on Amazon, and you can also apply my discount code, which I'll put on the screen right now. You can apply my discount code for an additional 20% off. So that is an absolute win-win, guys. I am so excited about these oh my goodness so i am going to put a piece of felt on the back just sticky felt so it doesn't scratch and i do have just a little bit of cleanup here with the drips and i'll just get that with my dremel no big deal but look at that look how shiny they are i'm not even sure that this paint even needs a top coat of resin but i wanted to try this resin out anyway and it worked out really well so, a little drip on that one. No biggie, but look how shiny it is. Wow. Mm. So, I really like these. Really, really happy with these big ones. So, I'll, again, I'm going to clean up the drips and um, put a piece of felt on the back. So... You know, the, my only regret is using the rest of my maiden metallic paints. And um, that's my only regret. But maiden is having a big sale right now uh, for the month of October. I think most of their stuff is 30% off. I'll put a link to their website in the description below as well as a link to these metallic paints. And look how cute these jar lids turned out. Really happy with that. This is just the leftover paint, but look at the pattern. And this was kind of an afterthought, adding adding my little, um, my sea turtle and my starfish from the previous video. These were the new into resin molds that I made um, in my previous video, and I'll link to that also. I am a uh, into resin affiliate, so you can get 20% discount on anything at into resin. You can get these molds. I'll put a link to these molds too, but I'm happy with these jar lids. I just need to clean it up, clean up the bottoms, and put the jar lids back together. So I'm going to do that real quick. See, once you put the rubber stopper back on, you hide all that ugly stuff. And I'll just clean that up real quick. And then put these back on correctly. Make sure it's straight. Let's 
I hope I made the right decision. I think I did by adding these. Might not be completely straight. There we go. So there's that one. And this one. I think I made the right decision. There we go. Oh, no wonder. Hold on, this thing is not on here. There we go. All right. All right. Look for the links below. Let me know what you think. Make it a crafty day, friends.